and Simulation Federation. It's interactive digital wrestling role-playing game for your entertainment with original created characters with creators and managers live in the chat. Let's get it going. There we are. Now we're good to go. Who we got? Who we got in the chat? We got Jester, DJ Richard Cranium. Way to go. Matt Storm is here, Jester's here, Logan is here. How you doing? Welcome in, Wally. Wally. Great to see everybody. Dubs in the house. Wrestling the mama. The Red Queen is in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuned into Blaze Radio. Wrestling the mama. Great to see ya. Good to see everybody. Live here tonight on the Blaze Radio Network here on YouTube. More digital wrestling action. We started with 64 men. This is the final eight matches. In round one. Crushing Kelly's in the building. There she is. Welcome in. Jake Bagwell's in the house as well. How you doing? Hit the thumbs up and get ready. After this, we'll be down to, well, 32. And just a couple more shows to go. We'll have eight matches and eight matches till we're down to just one match. Fighting for a million dollars. And a shot at the world title or battle queen title. The current world champion, Big Daddy Beard, starts off against our man, True. Cowboy John versus Captain Danger. Brian LG versus Brother Chuck. Counts Wraithnock versus Jamar. Nick Black versus Paragon of Greatness. Jay Vulture versus Jesse Jackhammer. Leo X versus Hunter McIntyre. Redneck Avenger versus Danny Wells. And then those that lost a couple shows ago have a crazy eight match. Jay Savage, Shadow Press, Turmoil, Willie Styles, Blade Charge, D Train, J Dog, and Drum Monkey. Sledgehammers, aha! Let's keep the Banji Boy stuff going because, because I said so. We got uh, giddy, 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 giddy up, giddy up, and uh, get ready. Here we go. One more Banji Boy song. Win in advance, lose and go home. The Madness Tournament continues. Nightmares here. Stay in the basement. That's him screaming. Oh no, it's me, Nightmare. Literally walked in the basement. <laughs> here we go. Uh, good to see everybody. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Let's Wang Tongue tonight. No. We're live. Akersher Stadium. The gathering continues. Show number four. Our fourth show with one-on-one -on -one matches. The count out of five. Winner moves on from the round of 64 down to the round of 32. Second round starts this Thursday. We'll get into those matchups. The next round of the ladies in hell. We'll have matchups for next Saturday book tonight. 
entering the ring first. He is your leading towards death wrestling world champion. It's Big Daddy Beard. BDB finally getting on top of the mountain, holding that gold high here in Pittsburgh. Big Daddy Beard up in here. Here we go. Let's bring out his opponent. Another former world champion. Even though he held it for a brief moment, he wants it back. From Chicago, Illinois, 5'7", 220 pounds, this is our man, Drew. What's the odds of that? Oh, it's an odds of odds show. What's the odds of me? Cracking a cold one. Eliminator beer. Don't get eliminated. Get obliterated. Drink Eliminator beer. Ha ha, nightmare in the building, odds in the building, mama in the house. Bagwell's here, great to see everybody, welcome in, welcome in. Well, we've been debuting everyone's 2K24 creations as we're still testing matches in the new games. We're closing out 2K23 with this huge tournament to close out the biggest gathering we've ever had with multiple events. The gathering has brought together uh, brand warfare, so it was a stable war. Now 64-man tournament, 24-woman tournament. And toss him like a sack of potatoes. That's how you start it. When you're the world champ, you let the crowd know. And BDB is well. Oh, never take your eyes off your opponent. Our man sneaks in. And there goes as he don't need a baggy at him. Bowtie, your referee, watches closely here. Packershire Stadium, home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big spine buzzer by our man Drew. Our man's out to make sure people know it wasn't a fluke when he was world champ. He wants to prove it here tonight by advancing into round two. Nightbot will drop the link. The winner of this match, let's see. Because most of these matches, they're just waiting opponents. J.W. Caliber. It's J.W. Caliber versus the winner of this match. Muy interesante. That's interesting, people. That's interesting. Now they're flirting with the five cap. They're on the outside. Do love the title cre creation screen. Titles look good. Championships look good. We've shown off a couple ours in 24. I think they look good. A little extra pizzazz and shimmery shine. I think the belts look pretty good. Mainly, I, all I've done for the last couple weeks since this came out is just create, recreate things from 23. A lot of copying. Copy and paste or uh, easy save and upload from Community Creations in 23. They could adapt those characters to the new game, or at least the pieces. Not even the character, just be able to grab all the pieces that are on a character in 23. Those haven't changed. Did you get my DM on Sky? Yes. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Make arenas and belts. Yeah, that's what I started with, just to give the game some time to patch up any problems with Creator Wrestler. Mark Caliber's in the house. Now, some people are already coming into some issues because I got the WrestleMania pack, so I do have some things unlocked. But I have not gone through my Rise or Showcase to unlock anything. But for some reason, you know, Brian LG, I uploaded him, and a lot of people say they can't get him because uh, of Stone Cold's entrance. I'm like, what? Cover here by the world champion. Good to see Mark Caliber in the building. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, big takedown. Eddie Knight, boy, I remember that name. Close line, Eddie Spaghetti. Big Daddy Hadouken, got him, cover. He's gonna win with the Hadouken. Ese one, ta, ese tu, ta, ese no. Lady Devil lurking in shadows. What is up, LD and the family's in the building here in Pittsburgh. That's right, we are stationed for a long stay here during the transition between 2K23 and 2K24. We're gonna use both games for 
maybe the next month as we close out this tournament and as we start continue getting creations and uh, before we officially go live on 24. Flop over. I've been having fun with the test uh, shows, though. We've tested. We've had four shows on 24 testing three or four. Uh, testing different uh, singles matches. And I think the no exit in the ring match might be my primary match. Or sticking with this one we're using here to count out five. And big right hand to him. <laughs> Our man on Big Daddy Beard. Still have 23 downloaded. I've been pulling moves. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of... I did a lot of screenshotting and copying over from 23. It made it a lot easier because I had to create so many. It did make... I'll tell you right now, I created characters a lot faster this year. Tiffany Scott! There she is! Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. Good to see you. How you doing? How you doing, everybody out there? Upsy daisy our man trying to end it here. Got him down. Hooks the leg. Is it enough? One, two, no. Missy Harris in the house. There she is. One of the newer members of the Battle Queen division. Daughter Wrestling Mama will be in her trial period as soon as we go live on 24 for 30 to 90 days along with the LIT class. Some decisions uh, might be made at the start of 24. <coughs> but we will make it known officially when it picks up on the numbers. Like today, this show is show number 1041. We'll carry that right into the new arm. Oh, at the end. Our man's done it. He just pinned the world champion. Well, we're definitely not getting the world champion winning this tournament. J.W. Caliber now knows his opponent. And a shocking win. It'll be our second match on Saturday. J.W. Caliber in round two will take on the winner of the match. Our man, Drew. There you have it. Big Daddy Beard, maybe uh, too much partying from winning the championship. I don't know. All right. Let's keep it going now. Let's keep it going now. We go Cowboy John Cap in danger. Winner moves on. Loser goes home. Loser's done with 2K23. Unless they're in a title fight. Well, who is uh, Cody Hagen will be defending his lethal championship against Matt Outlaw. The winner of this tournament will face the world champion Big Daddy Beard. He's out of the tournament now. Same thing with Goddess, your battle queen. So there will be definite new number one contenders in both divisions. All right, take your pick, Cowboy Jack. Captain Danger coming up next. Firestar's in the house. Tiffany in the building. Yep, I heard. That's awesome, Tiff. Here we go. Great to see everybody hanging out. There's a party going on right here. All those in the back kicking in. We about to get wicked. Here we go from South Carolina. 6'3", 250 pounds. The sheriff of the Stun Gun Pistol Party. It's Cowboy John. Cowboy John, a legend. Guaranteed stamp of approval from me, at least, I can say. Should be speaking for everybody else in the committee first ballot great hall member if you want to call it that he's been a blitzkrieg champ a crazy eight champ a tag champ a great supporter a great athlete does that make him an athletic supporter yeah he's a jock strap sometimes <laughs> that's my brother from another mother i want you to play a song on the old guitar there cowboy and get in the car john get in the car well, the great hall members are now direct advisors to the committee, but no, Nightmare is not getting anywhere near uh, the committee. No. 
Get your picks in. Who is 1-0? We'll see who's 2-0. 1-0 don't mean nothing. That's 50-50 chance. Let's see who's 2-0 after this matchup. Get your votes in now. I see nine votes in there out of 16 people in the building. Still time to get your votes in. Cowboy John or this man. From Indianapolis, Indiana, 5'10", 219 pounds, it's Captain Danger. Daniel Berry's in the house, welcome in. Thank you for being a member supporting the channel. Firestar, thank you for being a member supporting the channel. Jake Bagwell, thank you for being a member supporting the channel. LD, thank you for being a member supporting the channel. Brooklyn Joker, thank you for being a member and supporting the channel. Jester, thank you for being a member and supporting the channel. Brooklyn Joker, thank you for being a member and supporting the channel. Hey, we having some fun, I told you people. These battles, because of the high intensity, you gotta win to stay in. Everybody wants a shot at the champ. That's what it's all about, people. Cat Danger. He's held the Blitzkrieg title, but his sights set a lot higher now. Captain's gotta go through the Cowboy first. A classic case of two types of heroes battling each other. The Captain and the Cowboy. One on one, but only one. And go on to the next round. Yes, Nightmare, I agree. I agree. You belong in the Great Hall. We need someone to sweep. We need someone to mop. We need someone to clean the bathrooms. Yes. Nightmare, you've got the job you applied for. Congratulations, our new janitor at the Great Hall. None other than Nightmare. Oh, no. Goddess is here. Give me my pants over there. I should put my pants on. No, yes, give me my pants. Thank you. Um, welcome, everybody, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where a gathering continues the Madness Tournament. Win and stay in. Lose and go home for 2K23, that is. Up top, foul right on his back. Yikes. You deserve to be in the hall. Yes, you do. Cleaning, mopping. Uh, you got a nice new broom you can use. Make sure to take the trash out every Tuesday night. You know how it works. You know the rules. We went through it in your in orientation, Nightmare. Nightmare, our new janitor. Just for that, I'm keeping you in the white outfits, too, and those are our new janitor outfits. I'll just put LTD logo on the front. <laughs> Nightmare to janitors. The skull-breaking janitors. You gonna you know, try to beat me with a broom? Well, okay. Well, we got a sledgehammer match. Are you in it? Nightmare's retired. Who said that? Oh, that's yeah. I, I believe that. Like I believe a big show heel turn. Nightmare, nightmare. You are not retired. Uh, only you're not allowed to retire. Only if you're meaning that you retired before and now you're tired again, so you're retired. Or you had to get new tires on your car, so you retired. If you paid attention to... No, I don't pay attention to your trip. It's on you. <laughs> Miss the elbow there. Big neck breaker by Captain Danger. Psych, I always pay attention. I got posters of... I got posters of all yours on my wall, Nightmare. All your tweets are up on my wall. In my bedroom, my, in the wallpaper is just nothing but Nightmare's tweets. Everywhere. It's true! It's true! I savor every every letter that you've typed. So close to my heart. I admire every tweet you've ever twatted and twatted. Tweety twatted. And they're on the outside. They got five seconds to get back in the ring, dadgummit. Get your dupas back in. Come on, Captain John. Captain John and uh, Cowboy Danger. <laughs> Scooped up reversal here by Cap. Stop the cat. Cowboy's trying. He's trying to stop Captain Danger. The cat and the cowboy going at it. Exactly what Nightmare meant by cat was Captain Danger, his favorite wrestler, along with Radio Rex. I know I said it once. 
Cowboy John sizing him up. There is the link to the bracket. Talonge.com slash Lyoerdom. Hell yes, Nightmare says. Say it again and again. Power bomb. Cowboy John looking to put it away. Could it be time for a shot? Gun stunner. This one's over early. Captain Dangerous. What? Shoulder up, keeping the match going. Cowboy John hit that stunner. The shotgun stunner, man. I thought it was over. Cowboy kick coming up. Oh, we got blood underneath the mask. That's when it's correct. He's going for another shotgun stunner, but blocked by Captain. Now Captain Danger closing in. Big right hand. We got blood on both ends. Holy cannolis. Kick to the gut now by Captain Danger. Cravat sleeper. Look at this. He's cutting off all the circulation. To the head of Cowboy John. He got enough power to throw some left hands. Now Cowboy John trying to get on the offensive. Fireman's carry. Over to the ropes. Draping the captain over. Double boots by Captain Danger. Rattling the cage of Cowboy John. Back up again with a vicious right hand. And a slam there by Captain Danger. Trying to put Cowboy John down and out. Again trying to rattle his cage there. Smacking his head on the mat. Now Captain Danger back up. Look at this. Oh, down goes Cowboy John. That may have done it. Cowboy's in big trouble here. Now just insult to injury. Smash eats some canvas. Now Captain Danger's going to look for that Danger KO. He's going to try to take him out with it. No, what's this? Back to the sleeper. The knockout sleeper. KO time. No. Cowboy fights out of it again. It's Cowboy doing DDT here. Jumping DDT. Holy. Holy moly's. Cowboy John thinks he's got it now. Hooks a leg. Cover wide. Good. No. Cowboy John, Captain Danger, the winner will advance in this tournament. We're closing in on the end of round one. The winner of this match faces Matt Storm. Matt Storm, kill shot. And at the bottom of that bracket's Mike Lawson and Doc. Incredible. We're going to know all the second round matchups after today. As we head towards round two and the semifinals and quarterfinals of the Battle Queen Division show. Closing in on the end of these two tournaments to see who will face Goddess of Pain for the Battle Queen title and who will face Big Daddy Beard for the World Championship. Against the ropes now. Cowboy John running the ropes here on Captain Danger. Danger, though, catches him off guard. Danger rolls him over like a pancake. Kick to the dupe though by Cowboy John. Both men giving everything they got, whatever they got left in the tank. In the back corner, big shout out to Leo Angel. In the chat, Missy Harris, LD, everybody hanging out. Big shout out to the Hardcore Sports Network as well. Simone drop, dropping them down like it's high. And the cover. One, two, and three. Captain freaking Danger. Saturday, Matt Storm. First Captain Danger, the winner of the match. That'll be a round two roundup. Coming up Saturday, the 30th. Captain Danger taking the victory and moving on to the second round. Who will be the number one contender? We're testing all 64 men on the roster. Ah, damn. Right now, G and brother Chuck. 
<coughs> the winner of this faces the winner of Jay Vulture and Jesse Jackhammer, which is also tonight. your votes in, Brian LG, Brother Chuck. The winner will face the winner, Jay Walter and Jesse Jackhammer, coming up later on tonight. from Arkansas, the Mac Daddy, the party animal. Standing at six foot two and 258 pounds, this is Black Ice Brian LG. Now, like I said, his 2K24 version is up. But for some reason, it's saying that people can't download him because of uh, Stone Cold Showcase something, which I don't do to showcase. So it's just something I got in the WrestleMania pack. Just let me know if anyone's having trouble trying to download Brian LG, that's all. I'm trying to redo it. But he looks really good. I don't know if you saw him, Brian. We had him uh, last night. His opponent from Bray, Oklahoma, 6'4", 303 pounds. It's Big Brother Chuck. Alright, so we'll find out. Winner of this match, Nightmare's tag team partner, the Skull Busters, uh, Brother Chuck. There you go. Yeah, you can create yourself whenever you get it in June. I just did the closest thing I could to what I had in 23. Here we go. All right, get your votes in. Who do you think going win? Brian LG with a big slam right there. The winner of this tournament will get to face Big Daddy Beard for the World Championship. Shockingly, Big Daddy Beard losing earlier today, knocked out of this tournament. So there will be a definite winner. Hey, Judd is here. Judd's in the building. Shout out to you. Welcome in, welcome in. How you doing, Judd? Bring him in the hard way over the top rope. Right hand to the head there by Chuck. Brian, taken up. Straight up in the air. Stalling suplex. Nice takedown there by Chuck. Big right hands on Brian early in the matchup here. Chuck flex into the crowd here in Pittsburgh. Outside, it's beautiful. Thank goodness. It was raining earlier. Luckily, it's not now. Here's Brian LG Wheelbarrow just smashes the face of Chuck into the mat. Chuck trying to fight right back though. Picks up Brian. Takes him into the other uh, turnbuckles. And he ain't done. Corner to corner here by brother Chuck. Chuck throwing Brian LG around like a sack of potatoes. Kick to the head by Brian. Right hand by BLG. Brian has that 
Black Ice Backpack Stunner. He hits that thing, it could be over. But as always, I've said it a million times, the longer the matches go, the stronger it seems Brian LG gets. He has outlasted every opponent. It seems he's ever had well decorated, a Grand Slam champion. But only one man will go into the next round. Oh, now Brian with a big slam on Chuck. Chuck trying to get right back up, though. Brian closing back in. Brian LG now returning the favor, the stalling suplex. Letting all the blood rush to the brain pan, and down he goes. There's Nightbot dropping the link to the bracket of the current Madness Tournament. You are witnessing one of the last round one matchups. Right hand by Brian. Thursday, we have the beginning of round two. Rob Machete versus Lord Amadeus. Dragonheart versus Clinton McFleary. Chance Harper versus Shifty. Captain Demented versus Phelan Kell. Ripper Spring Hill versus Killer Neptune. Mike Wasson versus Doc. Leo Angel versus MSW. And John Breakdown versus Jester. Up top. Joining the uh, second round will be the winners of today's match, Kai. <clears throat> Brian LG firing away here on Chuck. Has him up. Another big slam. Uh-oh. High Fire Rose got them KFC steroids. Here we go. He's looking for a black eyes back pack stunner. He hits him with the black eyes and a one. And a two. It's over. No. Charles Adderley is in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. What is up, my friend? Great to see you. How you doing, everybody? A uh, running power slam by Brian LG. Sma don't smash the like button. Just gently, gently touch it. It'll still work. Tap it. Real tappity tap. Real nice and soft. Right there. Right there. Tap it. <laughs> Appreciate you, Charles Adderley, in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuned into Blaze Radio. Shout out to you. Just the tip. Tappity tap. Tap. Not the tip. The tap. Tap it. Just tap the button. Tap it real easy. Tip, tip, tappity, tip, tap. No, don't punt it, Nightmare. We need tap it. There you go. Tap, tap, tap it, tap that ass, tap the like button, too. Kick by Chuck's trying to end it right here. Look out below. Chuck just hammering away at Brian's dome piece. Yikes. Brian LG. We got sledgehammers coming up later on tonight. Crazy eight match, nothing but sledgehammers underneath the ring, yeah. Ooh, ooh, Carmen is ready in 2K24, I love it. Backpack stunner, black ice again. Black ice again, one, two, for Ryan, moving on. Snuck in a vote for Brian right there after it ended. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, baby. The winner of the match. Moving on to round two of this ginormous tournament day. Brian LG. Oh, I love what you got now, Rose. I'm totally cool with you not changing your theme song, please. Your theme is one of my favorite ones, Hot Fire Rose. Love it. Gets me fired up every time. Missy is 3-0. Count Z and Jamar are up next. 
The winner accounts right knock and Jamar. We'll take on Mark Caliber in round two. I don't care what they all say. Right. So we got Mark Caliber versus the winner. We work hard and we all play. All right, let's get it going. Round one action continues here in the gathering. AJ Cool Kid has arrived. Diamond Sky in the building. Welcome in, welcome in. Shout out to you, Diamond Sky. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the show. You're tuned in to Blaze Radio. And these are our first round matchups in our round of 64 wrestlers fighting for the biggest prize in the business, a shot at the world championship. Coming out first from Paris, France, standing at six foot four, weighing at 241 pounds. He is the Lord of Pain in my ass. He's a pain in my ass. Counts right now. <laughs> Dro is here, my man Dro in the building. I acknowledge you, Dro. I acknowledge you. Shout out to you, everybody in the chat. Appreciate ya. Spam them fire emojis if you wanna. Let's see it on fire. Set that chat on fire. Anything to get my mind off of Count Draycock on my screen. Ha ha! It's gonna be a good one. Leo Angel setting a chat on fire. Let's bring out his opponent. Set that chat on fire. Fire emojis for this matchup. His opponent fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. Standing at 5'10", weighing 230 pounds. He is the Atlanta ace. It's Jama. Oh, my apologies to Count Z. I forgot to mention he's one half of the World Tag Team Champions, okay? Missy Harris setting the chat on fire. I love it. That's what I'm talking, boot. All right, appreciate all the likes, the shares. Brian LG, Mark Caliber. Everybody out there showing some love for the Tweeties and the Twatters and the Tweets and Twats that I'd send out there, you Twats and Twits. And there is the women's tournament bracket. Nightbot just dropped the link. We are down to the final eight. And it's challenge.com forward slash plage dick. No, odds is setting the chat on fire. The final eight with the ladies division right now sits to be Schalke versus Evie Bloodyard, Crushing Kelly versus Whisper Bagwell, Lady Devil versus Jen Richards, and Selena Kilauea versus Patty Chase. Next Tuesday, one week from today, there will be madness for the Battle Queens, and it'll get them down to the final two because the semifinals will be that night as well. And there will be two crazy eight matches. So all 24 Battle Queen competitors will be in action one week from today. Next Tuesday, Madness 9. Madness 7 will be Thursday. Madness 8 will be Saturday. And so far today, we've made a couple matches for Saturday's show in round two. So once we get past round two, we'll be to the Sweet 16, baby. Chad's in the house. Welcome in. Welcome in. We got our own version of March Madness going on here. 65, 64 men 
24 ladies battling out in two different tournaments. Nightbot is dropping a link to the tournaments if you care to check out where your favorites stand. And these are count out five matches, so you know if you're outside the ring, you can get your ass back in. Or you might lose by count out, you bitch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Jamar and count. Jamar trying to get count right back in the ring. If they continue to fight, the count is at three. Speaking of count, he throws Jamar down. This is going to be close for Jamar. He gets in at four, right before four. Rob Machete, Rob A. Machete in the building. What's happening, Rob? Welcome in, welcome in. Jamar going to work on Count Z, the winner. Moving on in the tournament to face Mark Caliber in round two. The Madness Tournament. Oh, taking the gathering up a notch just when you thought the gathering was over. It was just the brand. we For the first time ever, we tied together the gathering with Stable War 14. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Count Z got him locked up. The French manicure. The Jamar fighting out of it in a big slab. Corey Quinn is in the building. What is up? Corey's in the house. The first ever LTD belt collector in the building. What is happening? Big shout out to Corey Quinn in the building here in Pittsburgh. We are fighting for from 64 men and 24 ladies, two tournaments to crown number one contenders. Doing good. We are in the middle of 2K23 and 24. So we're finishing out a, a March Madness style tournament in 23 while we start to showcase new creations in 24. We have about 30 on the roster already in 24. But take your time with your creations. We'll bring them all back. Have more fun. Continue. Some will be back. Some won't. Hey, it's all. It's, it happens every time we're in between games. Here we go. Jamar climbing back in. The count of three. One man will advance. The other one's going home for 2K23. These guys want to fight all the way to the end, not only for the million dollars. There's a pro oh, we're weeks away from moving over to 24, Corey. We've been testing out a lot of shit. We've been testing match types and universe mode and custom creations. So I've done, I've done more of those than I've ever done this year. We've done, I think, four creation streams already, which are basically showing off a bunch of the new characters. No, we're, we're going to finish this tournament. we got plenty of time. We're not even in the second round yet. After today, we'll be down to 32. Count Z just tapped out. Count Z just tapped out to the Sandcrawler. Jamar advances. The Sandcrawler. Submission gets the win. Wow. The little monster, Jamar, has been on a roll ever since that little monster became the little monster. Now we got Jamar and Mark Caliber in one bracket. The other side, Captain Demented and Feeling Kel. We're the match. Jamar! Missy's 4-0, oh. uh-oh. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, one of our next match will fight Azrael Black. No relation, Nick Black versus Paragon of Greatness. 
Right about now, you funk soul brothers. We've already seen the likes of Killa Neptune and Lord Amadeus advance to round two. Of the four Great Hall members, can Paragon get added to that list? He's got to go through Nick Black, and that ain't going to be easy. Here we go, Nick Black and a Paragon of Greatness. Get your votes in now. Round one continues. Coming out first, fighting out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Six foot four, 245 pounds. He is the con, Nick Black. Stay tuned for another creation stream on 2K24. We just debuted uh, Bone Dog, Hot Cheese, Cowboy John, Austin Bagwell. More coming soon. Shadow Press and uh, several others. I remember, I remember. I remember some things. I'm getting old though, Rose, so I don't remember a lot of things. My memory is not as good as it, well, it never was good. <laughs> the Madness Tournament continues right here in Leaning Towards Death Wrestling. His opponent from Cairo, Egypt, six foot one, 330 pounds. The model of excellence, the last of the old gods. A member of the Yopay Brotherhood. It's the Paragon of Greatness. POG's a Grand Slam champ. He's led the Yopay Brotherhood to two stable war championships as well. Now a member of the Great Hall, getting one last opportunity. He's a two-time world champion. So, you know, there is a standard of Sean Shamrock and Mordrin Nightwalker coming back when they were inducted into the Great Hall, letting people know that three world championships is pretty damn impressive, and they both have Paragon looking one more opportunity to possibly get that third world championship here. Already a member of the Great Hall, one of the most honorable wrestlers you've ever met, but one of the most vicious wrestlers at the same time. Paragon of Greatness. I'm sure he's happy with the accomplishment. One of the most decorated wrestlers in the history of LTD, by far. Always very respectful, always very supportive. Now immortalized in the Great Hall, being handpicked by the committee for this tournament as well as Lord Amadeus, D-Train, and Killa Neptune as the bonus four. Because the roster sits at 20 in the Legacy brand, 20 in the Lethal brand, 20 in the Empire brand. And now uh, going into 2K24, we have a record 25 in the Battle Queen division.
Yes, and for any of you mathematicians out there, that's 85. Trying to cap it at 85. Three divisions of 20. And then 25, ladies. That's what I'm trying to cap it at for 2K24. Uh, 85. I'd like to realistically get it down even lower, but I, there's nobody I want to get rid of. I love y'all. The roster's... That's why I do these types of tournaments, because it doesn't matter who wins. I win no matter who wins, because the tournaments are always great. we got so many great characters. And anybody's worthy of the world championship. They really are. Only one of these men will advance, and that's the name of the game. Each time these gathering madness tournament matches happen, they know their backs are against the wall. You want to keep fighting in 2K23? you got to keep winning. They realize only one will get the ultimate prize. But you never know who gets rewarded, those who do well in between. We've seen it happen before. Stranger things have happened. You never know the twists and turns of the committee. Always like to throw some swerves in there. Toss him like a stack of potatoes. Jesse Jackhammer's in the building. Shout out to you! Sunshine's with Jay Vulture now, Nightmare. They're married. Bear hug applied by Paragon. Sunshine is a grown woman. She, don't, she was only technically my daughter for a couple years. She showed up when she was 21 years old when she showed up. And that was like five or six years ago. So she's like 27, 26. <coughs> Sunshine, after that debacle with Atticus Black and several others. Uh-oh, new look for Tiffany. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I know we've already confirmed you have the same theme song, and I am ecstatic about that. I am happy. I'm writing it down. I'm taking notes. Where's your pen? Where's your pen? The creme de la creme. Ain't going nowhere. I love it. What is tonight? Tuesday? What is later on? Maybe I'll do a creation tonight. Who do we got to get? We got to get Carmen. Two count there. <coughs> what did Odd say? She He put uh, Carmen up under. Uh, why I love. There's your three count. And indeed, we will have Nick versus Azrael. Nick Black versus Azrael Black, no relation. In the next round, because the con. It's in your favorites in YouTube. Big win, baby. Uh-oh, Tiff joined the dark side, you say, Leo? Oh, wow. The winner of the match, moving on to round two. He is known as the Con, Nick Black. LTV 24, gotcha. That's what I thought. Carmen, I, I, unless it was something different, that's what makes it easy if they're on to that. <coughs> where, do, where do bees go to the bathroom? The bee pee. Stay high, because they pee pee in the station. Winner of this match fights Brian LG in the next round. So take your pants off and dance. Or just do the pants dance, I'm sorry. This is 5 and 0. Do the pants dance, y'all.
love the pants dance. Here we go. Winner to face Brian LG in round two. going down right here, people. Ain't nothing like fighting for your hometown. We do uh, territory wars every once in a while for that. Pretty much what we're doing here. Two Torontonians, two Torontons, two Torontians, Torontians, two Torontians, two Torontians. Hey, Blaine. I messaged you on Twitter for my character on 24 for my moveset. Oh, yeah. Did you tell me what you wanted? Or, you, oh, you know, I thought you was going to let me take care of it. Or you got you got some uh, ideas sent in my way? Most definitely. Definitely. Shoot me whatever uh, moves you want or whatnot, and I'll make sure they're in your moveset, etc. However you want to do it. And Ragdoll living in a movie. Throwing him around off the bat here is Jay Vulture. Yeah, anybody who I make um, or characters you want changed or whatever let me know I'll do whatever I can I will do what I can I like how a couple people have already picked up some of the ones I thought I was gonna have to do which I don't mind doing don't get me wrong other people are creating other characters I'm like cool some people are creating two two people creating their character and we got to choose from them whatever's clever I think it's fun Joker sending me uh-oh is it a nudie picture <laughs> Ooh. Okay. We'll see her soon. We'll see the new. We will see the new. Yeah, thank you, uh, Logan. I see it now. That's perfect. We'll see the new Tiffany soon. Really like this look of Jesse. Yeah, Pete made this one from 23. So that's what I took. The logo that's on his pants and the logo on his butt. I put the pants one on the jacket and the other one on his t-shirt and kind of kept whatever he designed for 24, Jesse did. But I did change it up because that hairdo now makes me think of Jesse Jack Hammond. So we found a defining characteristic. I don't want to change it. Uh-oh. One, two, no. So Jesse's cool with it. He likes to look too. And that, that matters. But uh, I like this look of Jesse. Now, he has a very def de defined look. You know when you see that hairdo, it's Jesse. And he is he has been deadly recently. And he's held a title early in his career as well. Although he's not here for very long. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. 
Jack Hammer time. Boom, Shalak Lock, boom. Got him. I stream every Thursday. One, two, and three to Jack Hammer from Jesse. And he said, I hear you, Blaze. I'm going to finish the job right now with a Jack Hammer. Sorry, Jay Vulture. My son in law, my son in law, Jay Vulture. Good fight, though, kid. But moving on is Jesse Jack Hammer. Oh, we're getting close to knowing the exact matches. The Owen Hunter, there's only two matches left. Woo! Look at the match, Jesse Jack More and then our sledgehammer main event. Oh, baby, they've been deadly. These crazy eight matches have been insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Won't you fire me over till another year? Get your votes in now. The winner of this match, should I say they fight? Uh, Kelly Mavericks. And then the last one fights Wally. All right, the winner of this match will face Kelly Mavericks. Get your votes in now, people. First from New York, New York, 5'10", 210 pounds, part of the House of X Entertainment. This is Leo X. Chad, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy early birthday to Chad. Happy early birthday to you. Hey, 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 it's your birthday. Not yet, though. It's your birthday. But when it is, though, we want to say happy birthday. It's your birthday. When's your birthday? A couple days your birthday. Maybe tomorrow. It's your birthday. It's today. It's your birthday. Everybody holla. Hey, it's your birthday. Chad Schrader, hey. You know what? It's your birthday. Fuck it. Today's your birthday regardless if it isn't early or not. Happy birthday. Happy day you crawled out your mom's vagina. Her was taken out. You exited. Happy exit day from the VJ. <laughs> Welcome to the world day. All right, let's keep this party rocking and bring out his opponent. This one-on-one -on -one matchup set for one fall. From Charlotte, North Carolina. Now we're talking in Orlando, Florida. 6 2, 220 pounds. This is Hunter and McIntyre. I gotta sing it to you too, Caliber. I don't mind. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Caliber. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my caliber. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my caliber. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, anybody whose birthday was yesterday, the day before, or the day before, the day before, or today, or tomorrow, or the next day after tomorrow, or the next day after the next day after tomorrow. Within a week. Happy birthday week to whoever's born this week in whatever year. 
and, and if it's their birthday month, happy birthday month. <laughs> happy day to everybody. Happy, happy day. Happy today day. Fuck your birthday. Happy today. Today. Today matters more than your birthday. You're still, you're still here kicking today. Well, you're kicking on your birthday, too. Your actual born day. Now you're still kicking. Every day should be your birthday. Oh, look at this. Leo showing his athleticism off the bat with a takedown on Hunter McIntyre. So Kelly Mavericks and Wally will await the winners of these final two singles matchups, and we will have our second round. That will include Thursday's show, the beginning of round two. It's Machete vs. Lord Amadeus, Dragonheart vs. Clinton McCleary, Chance Harper vs. Shifty, Demented vs. Phelan Kell, Ripper Springheel vs. Killa Neptune, Mike Watson vs. Doc, Leo Angel vs. MSW, John Breakdown vs. Jester. Matches made today. Andy Price and Nightmare was already booked. That's next uh, this Saturday. J.W. Caliber vs. R-Man, Matt Storm vs. Captain Danger, Brian L.G. vs. Jesse Jackhammer, Mark Caliber vs. Jamar, and Azriel Black vs. Nick Black. Now we await the final two wieners to go into round two. Round two. Fight! Leo thrown into the corner, flippity dippity, holy hell ski, watch out below, ducks under, and what a vicious jump in the clothesline. Down goes Hunter Mack, and popped up top, here goes Leo, right to the 217th Street splash. What a finisher it is, but he doesn't finish Hunter, he doesn't get it. That forfeit is splash from far, far away, and Leo ain't done. Always entertaining, he calls that banger. Bring it in the knee, in the knee. Flippity dippity, uppity dippity again there by Leo, showing off all his agility, but now sent on there onto his lower back by Mac. Hunter McIntyre bumps into Leo, eats a right hand. There it is, the two, 626 anniversary sleeper hold. They won tag belts with these. They've won singles championships with this submission maneuver. Flailing like a fish out of water. Hunter trying to survive, and he finally does. Toss him like a sack of potatoes. Now Hunter strikes back. Hunter with a forearm smash in the side of the head of Leo X. Now using the ropes. Hunter, big knee. Hunter's getting fired up, hoping to put this one away, but Leo strikes back. Wow. Leo missing back and forth between these two, struggling to get the advantage and hope to take this one home. AK is in the building, what is happening? Welcome to LTD, the Gathering Madness Tournament, our own March Madness. We started with 64 men, now, after these two matches left here tonight, we'll be down to 32 in round two, fight! <laughs> round two starts Thursday night. Big shout out to AK in the building, a big elbow by Leo X. Over the top by Leo. Holy cannolis. Holy sheep shit. He ain't, he ain't pissing around. Hunter McIntyre with a big knee strike on Leo. Kelly Mavericks awaits the winner. They will fight on Saturday in round two of the Madness Tournament. Hunter scoops him up. Say hello to the top turn buckle. There's a cover by McIntyre. What and a kick out by Leo. That gummit referee, where is where's Bowtie? Gary Grayson with the wrong shirt. You ain't supposed to be in there. Watch out, they're flirting with the five count. That's right, the count out is set at five to keep your asses in the ring. 
But beware, you can be eliminated by a five count. He's thinking about it. Chooses to throw Leo back in. And Hunter enters the ring as well. McIntyre got him. Two count only. Staying alive, staying alive. Eh, 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 staying alive. Uh-oh. Hunter helps him up. Kick to the gut. Working on the arm. McIntyre trying to put him away. Is that a pecker checker? Did he kick him into pee pee? Forearm smash there by Leo. Fans on their feet here in Pittsburgh. In the Steel City, we are in Akershire Stadium. Outdoors, baby. Did rain earlier today. Luckily, it's cleared up. Shoulder tackles in the corner by Leo. Leo's going to bring Hunter out of the corner. And a pinning predicament. One, two, no. Gary Grayson, you're not even supposed to be here. Referee Gary Grayson, what are you, what are you doing here? Blame the refs. Leo X, 626, 626 again. And this time, Leo will get him to tap out. It'll be Kelly Mavericks versus Leo X in round two. As we continue Thursday and Saturday. Will be round two. Two shows to close out round two. One show for uh, round three, and then we're down to the final eight, baby. Oh, the Sweet 16, round three. Winner of the match, Leo X. Leo advances in the tournament. We got one more spot to fill. The winner will face Wally. It's either Redneck Avenger or Danny Wells. Coming up next. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Blaze Brew proudly brings to you Eliminator Beer. Don't get eliminated, get obliterated. Drink Eliminator Beer. Comes in a wide variety of flavors and colors. Available now at your local liquor stores, beer distributors, grocery stores, gyms, hairdressers, gas stations, restaurants, doctor's offices, pubs, bars, Brothels, strip clubs, and street corners. Eliminator beer, get one now. You won't be disappointed. You'll be shit based drunk. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get your votes in now. RA, Redneck Avenger. For Danny Wells, the final spot into round two of the 64-man Madness Tournament. Making his way out first from San Antonio, Texas. Six foot five, 283 pounds. The proprietor of the Redneck Ranch. One of the cowboys from hell, it's the Redneck Avenger. Hoss, as some refer to him as R.A. Redneck. Mr. Avenger. I don't know if anybody calls him Mr. Avenger. Wally getting the LTD chance going as R.A. Has held that world championship twice, also looking to get into that conversation of those who have held the world title not once, not twice, but three times. Dad joke, where do you take someone who's been injured in a peekaboo incident to the ICU? Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Lacey Evans, Lackins, L-A-C-A-N-S, Lackins. 
No, it's not Lackins. It's from Panama City, Florida. 5'10", 235 pounds. Represent the Second City Dojo. He is Mr. American Strong Style, Danny Wells. Danny Wells, as I said, has held that world title. He's also held the G6, the Blitzkrieg, and the Internet Championship. Danny successful out of the dojo. We've had uh, several out of the Second City Dojo here in LTU. Here we go, getting ready for it. Danny Wells making his trip down to the ring here. One-on-one, -on -one. get your votes in the live chat. Who do you think is going to win the match? We got five votes in there now. Let's get some votes in there. R.A. or Danny Wells, vote now in the live chat. Let me know, I need to know who you think's gonna win. Still to come, Sledgehammer. Hammer time will be crazy. Strap yourself in, strap it on, strap it up, strap it down. Get ready, folks. You're gonna see a spectacle like never seen before. Norman Gonzalez there cheering on Danny Wells. And here we go. Bow tie back in position where he should be working. Scoops up and toss right there, right off the bat. Amateur wrestling background of Danny Wells starting to show through easily. Now he has adapted his style to the amateur style and, and much more of a brawler, even more so now. We've seen Danny Wells cut loose. We've seen him use some martial arts. We've seen him really mix it up. We've seen him even jump off the top rope, do some high flying shit. Danny Wells has really expanded his uh, repertoire and really impressed a lot of people here in LTD. Mr. American Strong Style has found a way to infiltrate any type of fighting style and adapt it to his. He's like a chameleon for fuck's sake. Uh, it's, it's phenomenal. Bowtie watching close as the chin locks applied by Danny. Pressure not lasting very long and now Redneck Avenger fighting right back. Oh, backbreaker. Cover quickly by R.A. Five and only one. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. They are going at it, people. Now they're flirting with that five count again. I told you, you gotta watch out for that stuff. Take down by Redneck Avenger on Danny Wells. Drapes him over the top rope. Danny Wells off the rope. Power slam by Redneck Avenger. Tossing down R.A. now looking for it. One, two, no. Danny Wells with a big right hand on R.A. Forearm smash and down goes Redneck Avenger. Rounding out the second round with this fight. Still to come, we got Sledgehammer Massacre match. The Shadow Press, j Dog, j Savage, Drum Monkey, D-Train. Turmoil, Blade Charge, and Willie Styles. Holy cannolis. That's gonna be wild and wacky and crazy. Cannot wait. Here we go, Redneck Avenger trying to make us not wait by ending his right here. No, shoulder up by Danny. Danny Wells still in this fight. Redneck Avenger. Reversal there by Danny Wells. Thinning the herd to find out who the best man in March is. Who will win the Madness Tournament, claim the number one contendership, and face Big Daddy Beard at the final show of 2K23.
Knee strike there by R.A. And once again, flirting with the five count. Kick to the gut there by Danny Wells. Danny says, let's do it inside the ring. Let's finish it where it needs to be finished. But I'm going to take a walk. No, I'm not. I'm back in. <laughs> Call an elbow tie up and now looking for a German. Got him. He's holding on. Going for numero dos. Got him again. The trilogy. Again. Danny Wells on a roll right now. You can call him Butta Baby. Look at this. Power bomb in the corner. Danny Wells. We've seen these bursts of energy by Wells late in fights. And him win some incredible matches recently. Wells with a big right hand trying to finish the job here. But an elbow by R.A. opens the door for him. They kind of bump into each other. Now Redneck Avenger. Move bow tie. Oh, right in front of the ref. Eat some canvas. Bow tie. One, two, and three. Redneck Avenger. R.A. will face Wale. On Saturday. In the final match of round two. That was crazy. Round two starts on Thursday, ends on Saturday. Next week we'll get down to the semifinals in both and then have our final show. Probably when I get back from uh, my WrestleMania weekend. Winner of the match, the Red Naked Man, yeah! J-Dog, Blade Charge, Turmoil, Jay Savage, Shadow Press, Billy Styles, D-Train, and Drum Monkey. Pick your wieners. Let's do First from Tacoma, Washington, six foot three, two hundred fifty pounds. It's Jay Savage. Jay Savage represent the SSU Solo Season Universe. And yes, the tradition continues. Right now, Matt Outlaw is your Crazy Eight champion. Marley Good and TJ Toad have already qualified for Crazy Eight title shots tonight. This is a second opportunity for someone to grab a title shot. And that would be a Crazy Eight title match. Matt Outlaw, Marley Good, and TJ Toad already punching their tiki. Take his way out next from Detroit, Michigan. Standing at 5'11", 241 pounds. A U.S. Army veteran. He is no flash. Just fists. It's Shadow Brass. So we have our match cards for Thursday and Saturday. We'll get those out soon. That is round two. The ladies are down to eight. Next Tuesday, we will have them get all the way down to two. 
Then the men get down to two after two more shows, and boogity biggity bam, we are at the finals, which where we'll have, we should have the semifinals and finals together. Because the winners will be the ones facing Big Daddy Beard and Goddess of Pain. We, all, we also already know that Matt Outlaw versus Cody Hagen's gonna happen. Hey, Matt Outlaw might be pulling double duty going into the uh, final show at 23. It's happened, people qualify for it. That's however the ball bounces around here. From Oakland, California, our next competitor standing at six foot tall, weighing 220 pounds. This is Turmoil. Blade Charge has to have a new song. After all this time, we've used Blade Charge's song. It finally got copyrighted. It ha I got a notice for Blade Charge's song. I was like, holy shit, that's one of the ones I've used for the longest. Late charges use that song for a really long time. But yep, it, it was the right name of the song. Everything like, well, there you go. And it was one of these NFX songs. All righty, this is pinfall submission or knockout elimination. You know what else it is? Only sledgehammers. Da, 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 I want to be a sledgehammer. Punch them up. Styles or Blade Charge, Turmoil or D Train, Shadow Presser, J Dog, J Savage, or Drum Monkey. If you're voting for one of those two, vote on that one choice of the four. Springfield, Illinois, six foot tall, 275 pounds. It's the hammer, William Styles. Willie Styles. Great to see Willie Styles in action. Winner gets a crazy eight title shot. Will it be at the end of 23 or the beginning of 24? That's the question. This is Blade Charge's temporary new song. Same group, different song. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're responsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, though. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna make it soon, and I'll do it because it's what I wanna fucking do. Because all these opinions and all these positions, they come in in millions. They block in your vision, but no, you can't listen. That shit is all fiction because you hold the power as long as you're trying to Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania, six foot tall, 223 pounds, the ultimate underdog, the rocket scientist who saved the world, the beast of the blade, the rocket man, Blade Child! He needs a longer entrance too, because he comes to the drop. Beginning of D 
D-Train song works good for the end of Lake Charge's temporary new one. <laughs> Coming out next from Fort Worth, Texas, 6'10", 340 pounds. He is a member of the Great Hall here in Leaning Towards Death Wrestling. A legend indeed. One of the last train robbers. The big old ruthless wrecking ball. The D-Train. The drum shadows or the shadow monkeys or whatever they call themselves. Drum, the shadow drums. No, that'd be too easy, Missy. We can't make it easy for you. If they gave me more choices. There you go. See, you figured it out. This guy's getting a new theme song too. Maybe I'll give this one to Blade Charge. Same, same, same singer. So bad I'm like, I'm like grab a bat, I don't know my rap, my blood boils over like Oh god, here goes, I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things, realize something needs change From Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, 6'2", 265 pounds, he is the inanimate Of Chicago, Illinois, our final competitor, 5'11", 231 pounds, our resident rock star, Mr. Sticks, Randall Drum, a.k.a. the Drum Monkey. go let the chaos and carnage begin it is pinfall submission or knock them the fuck out and you know how that goes people these are the toughest sons of bitches left on the planet formerly known as earth the combat kingdom is about to transform right in front of your eyes, leaning towards death wrestling. In our seventh year, coming up on seventh year anniversary. That'll be in October, Devil's Night, October 30th, over the top rope, oddly enough. Pinfall submission or knockout now. You know the question is how many how many sledgehammers will be used? Zero. I haven't seen him get one out yet. There's nothing but sledgehammers underneath the ring right now, folks. How many? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, more? 
Well, we don't have any eliminations, and we have no sledgehammer uses. Kill shot says 6,990. Okay. Two says odds. Missy says five. Ooh, I hope Missy's right. Odds might be on target with the pace we're at now. We'd be lucky to get two. You never know. Sometimes they start pulling them out left and right. Hey, that's what she said. Jay Savage in the ring with Shadow Press. Anyone else want to guess how many shovel? Oh, shovels. I'm so used to shovel matches. This is sledgehammers. No one wants to use the sledgehammers, but they are beating the snot, piss, shit, farts, and burps out of each other right now, people. Is that a bell? Shadow press is out. I did hear a bell. Wow. I got so much stuff to do creatively in 24 right now. This is the process, the time of when uh, I have all these little updates and changes I want to make on the current arenas, title belts and stuff. Title belts I think I'm good on. Arenas and continue to make wrestlers. And almost to the point where some of the people have to show up and then I'll create them. We'll see. Two count. No offense, but I am blessed to have so many people in the company. I don't really have to go fighting for people to fill up the roster for the next game. And it's pretty much on demand. You, you make it known you're coming back. Pretty much the standard across the board for everybody who runs shows. You make it known you're coming back, you're back. If you don't, hey. Oh, there's one! Sometimes you're welcome back, sometimes you're not. Welcome back. One sledgehammer sent. Oh, Blade Charge throws it down. And a right hand jab by Willie Styles on Blade Charge. And now he's trying to see him submit. In moves terminal, catches an elbow. We only got one sledgehammer. We got a lot of carnage. Here comes Drum Monkey now. Blade Charge going to throw him back in the ring. Like, I'm making little touch-up things on the ones I've done. Or That's why I try to, like, finish mine at one shot. Because if I create a wrestler and I go back in, I'll edit him or her. And if I keep going back in, in a, in a week, I'll have a completely different wrestler. So I'd like to try to hammer it out at one shot. If I got a really good idea what I'm going for. Some, otherwise, I do test it out a little while longer. Odd says, Dad joke, where do cats write notes? Scratch paper. We're stuck at one hammer, people. Stuck at one hammer. How is this happening? <laughs> We need more hammer. Oh, J Dog's getting hammer in the dupa cheeks. Drum Monkey's got the hammer. He was. Oh, now the monkey wrench applied on D Train. Guys, there's like a million hammers under there. Come on, get more hammers out. Turmoil. While you're doing nothing, grab a hammer. You guys are allowed to use the hammers all you want. I know there's more than one under there. j Dog trying to end Drum Monkey's match. No. And this friggin' slobber knocker continues. He trained to count on Jay Savage. These fellas are holding their ground right now. Willie Styles throwing Blade Charge back into the ring, and now he's eyeballing on Drum, but here comes Jay Savage. Blade Charge now enters the fold. We got all six over here beating the holy cannolis out of each other. Up top, Jay Savage with a bomb on Blade Charge into a pinning predicament. There's a one. This could be two. No. Blade Charge fights out of it. Ringside shot there. A good look at the action as J Dog lays out. Oh, D Train is out. The train is out. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Now along with Paragon, 
That means, well, Lord Amadeus and Killer Neptune, two out of the four Great Hall members made it to the second round. Monkey with a monkey wrench on blade charge. Hammer time on the outs. The same hammer though, right? Yeah, that's hammer number one. The first hammer. Those line by blade charge. One. Kill. I think we're in for a boner match, people. We haven't had a ladies' uh, friendly fire rumble for a while. We could do a 10 lady rumble. We just did a, we normally just do men's rumble. How about a boner match? Stick around. This is our regularly scheduled main event. Now we will have a Blitzkrieg Rumble for the ladies. It's going to suck. We can't do that. Well, I have to do regular rules for the Rumbles. That sucks. They better fix that custom Rumble. I'll have to try to redo that Rumble again. Because not being able to pick the participants in a 10-person custom Rumble, that sucks. One, two, and three. J Dog has been eliminated. We're down to five. Rocket bomb right on drum, and he knocked out the drum monkey. We're down to four. Jay Savage, Willie Styles, Blade Charge, and we're down to three. Turmoil's out, too. I miss Turmoil getting knocked out. One friggin' shovel. We're down to three guys. And one shovel. Three guys and one shovel. No, don't, don't, don't make that joke. Willie really Styles. Right hand. We got blood. Blade charge is busted open. He's going to grab the steps instead of the hammer. I'll tell you what, that it seems like they go for the uh seems like they go for the uh shovels in the eight man shovel match more. I gotta see if there's a difference. Maybe I have one at a normal match, one at a um no DQ or one at the extreme rules. I'll have to check. They both should be no DQ, shit. I mean in, in twenty four. Because in a couple weeks, it won't matter. We'll be using 24. Willie Styles with a belly to belly. Willie to Willie. Now what happened to Jay Savage? We're down to these two. Willie Styles just did it. Styles did it. only one hammer though all right one hammer I know I know what you mean so we now have round two secured you know what that sound means friendly fire Soldiers 
homeless flow is quarter cells along the Gaza Strip. The lives led Pakistanians when he was in the army took him, breathing in a bomb. You see, Morocco, the third civilian defeats, kill a machine, a far part is dead. My boy's box cars, the hopper red, a point blank rain drafts, 12 gauge tracks, gunpowder, shower, and candy bowels, stay flat. Forensical fantasy, friendly fire, flipping canopies on foundation, trap a belt around your arms, army sound base. Top of lights and arms, catch you, throw my bombs at you. Insert it goes click to clack Sweat the bullets friendly fire to change my back Meat index finger without me No lives lie in jeopardy You bring me right in the You can't pick hot cheese Click to clack Sweat the bullets friendly fire to change my back Meat index finger without me No lives lie in jeopardy You bring me really can't see When you get lost between the moon and the still sea Alright, here's your choices, ladies and gentlemen Anybody want to make nominations? Missy Harris is in. Carmen's in. Friendly fire. Now's the time for you guys to select. Tiffany is in. First, do your throwback fit. Close approach I get. I watch our kids just left the elderly live. Women and kids. Angelita's in. No mama. No mama or tiny, though. LD's in. Kelly. More suggestions. Friendly fire. Who you guys got in the chat? Cougar. One more, maybe? Need another one. Patty. No, another one. No Sonny. Sonny's not allowed. No Mama. No Mama, no Sonny. No Tiny. Emily. Ah, oh, we got one more. Bell and Dora. There we go. Thank you. 
who builds houses a boa constructor ha 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 <laughs> Kelly and Missy starting out the fight here now this is a blitzkrieg rumble so it's only 30 seconds so even these first two have an opportunity to win this rumble it's only oh, I gotta play her song See, with 30 second intervals though, this creek, it's not even worth fighting the songs. <laughs> they almost run into each other. Next seat, look, next one's ready to come out. You wanna get on this A team, living to the extreme? I like me on caffeine, League of Its Own is Steam, then let me hear you scream. Catch me on that live stream, like it, like a damn meme. Because I am the cream. Bell and Dora! Dad joke. I really want to buy one of those supermarket checkout dividers, but the cashier keeps putting it back. Atticus in the house. Six is Lady Devil. And is that Bell and Dora is out. Bell is out. Bell is out. Missy's still in there. Azrael in the building. What's happening? Emily Lenave is in the ring next. LD and Patty working together there and then going right after each other. Now Missy picking up a head of steam right now. I kind of think Missy needs that. That hair and that um, bandana. Cougar Knight coming out next. <laughs> Tiffany trying to send Missy over and out. Here comes another competitor. Who can it be now? Angelina. Angelina Matthews is out next. Carmen 
Gonzalez is number 10. That's it. Special 10 woman rumble. We are down to these lovely ladies. Beating off snot, fish, shit, farts, and burps out of each other. Who will stand tall in? end? Now it's whose, we heard everybody's music. Whose music will we hear? One Mulgan. Whoever can get the win. Brutality right now. These ladies holding off. They know how to get through this. And Carmen has Emily in trouble. Any woman's ball game. We are in the final competitors. The last seven. Three have already been cast aside. Our special bonus matchup. Uh-oh. Lita's in trouble. LD trying to eliminate Angelita Matthews, but Angelita finds a way back in. Emily firing away on Carmen Gonzalez. Cougar taking elbows by Missy. Carmen firing away on Emily. Angelita, LD, Patty, some of the biggest names in the world of combat sports in this ring together right now, trying to win this. Missy scoops up Cougar and tosses her to the wayside. Wow! But Angelita makes her pay. Cougar can't believe it. Caught her off guard. And throws her over the top rope. We're down to the final six. Carmen. In the forefront with Angelita. Emily trying to get her mother eliminated. You can't tap out. Firestar cheering on Emily. Carmen working. No, now going over here. Missy with elbows to Carmen Gonzalez. Missy Harris is smacked her in the back of the head there. Drop kick by Emily dead center of the ring on Lady Devil. Emily tossing LD like a sack of potatoes. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. If you're watching the replay, leave me a comment so I know you stopped by. Appreciate all love and support. This has been a blast tonight. We got pick and roll tomorrow for NBA fans. I'll probably do another uh, creation stream at some point in time. Emily still going to that submission maneuver, trying to wear everyone down and out. Patty has Lita up in a precarious position here, looking for the elimination, but Lita fights it off. What a battle between these ladies, man. Saw a couple eliminations early, but since then it has been torturous. I love it. Brings out the best in the business here. Patty Baum on her daughter, Emily. Chop, chop, chop it away. It's Carmen Gonzalez. You don't got to go home, but you ain't staying here, says Hot Fire Rose. She knows the rules of the bar. Right hands there on Lady Devil. And Lady Devil is out, and so is Emily. 
Emily and Lady Devil eliminated. We're down to the final four. It's Missy, Lita, Patty, and Carmen. Carmen's in no woman's land, but gets back in the ring. Missy up top with Patty. Carmen now switching off with uh, Lita here. Down below. Angelita sizing up Carmen Gonzalez. In the back corner. Oh, what a maneuver there by Lita on Missy. Attacked her from the back. Damn. Now what's Lita doing? Lita's going to try to throw Missy out. Patty's gripping up Carmen by her dome piece in a big right hand. That's what it's come down to, folks. Missy's in deep shit. She fights her way back in, though. Incredible. Missy's starting out this matchup, and she's still in it here at the end, but Carmen is not. Carmen has been eliminated. Missy, Patty, Lita. Oh, Missy Harris. Missy. The dart. Patty's version of the spear, the dart, and then Missy caught off guard in a big right hand by Patty. Patty going to work there now on Missy. Angelita, you stay out of harm's way for a little while. IP Freely, is there an IP Freely in the building? Phone call for IP Freely. I don't know, nobody's here by that name, Rose, sorry. <laughs> Missy Harris now sending Patty out. It's down to Missy and Lita. Down to Missy and Lita. It's down to Missy and Lita. Lita with a big boot on the side of the face. Missy Harris takes another night shot right across the face. Angelita's firing up. Look at her. Angelita fired up. Angelita Matthews. Smack down, eat some canvas. Missy Harris has been in since the beginning, and Lita's going to try to take advantage of that right here. Has her reeling, and Angelita, no! Somehow, Missy, back in. Are you kidding me? Now Missy throwing Lita off the ropes, ducks under. Big elbow takes Angelita down. Can Missy possibly win this thing? Into the far corner. Missy stalking Angelita. Here we go. Here we go. Missy trying to do it. Is she number two? Number one? Angelita holding on. And a big right hand to the cranium. Angelita back in the ring now. But Missy right back up top. Straight her over the top rope. Oh, that's dangerous going to the top rope, but Missy don't care. Missy don't care. Missy Harris got her. High risk maneuver by Missy. Mama's little angel looking to do the unthinkable. What's she doing? Pandering to the crowd and letting Lita back in. Oh, Lita's going to make her pay. Lita just made her pay for that. Instead of finishing off the job, Missy Harris makes a mistake by pandering to the damn crowd. As Hugo would like to say, pandering to the crowd. She made her pay. Mess around, play around, see you won't be around. Wow, Charles Roberts is in the building. Missy disappointed with herself. She had the opportunity right in front of her face. Why would she do that? Is there a meaning behind it? Stay tuned to find out. You never know, ladies and germinals. I wanna thank you all for being a part of the show here on Leaning Towards Death Wrestling. I want to thank each and every one of you guys and gals, dudes and dolls, for being a part of the show here tonight. Wrestling Mama told her don't play around. 
And Angelita finds a way to take advantage of it. You knew she would. We got the rest of round two of the Madness Tournament Thursday and Saturday. Stay tuned for more creation streams as well. Appreciate you all being part of the family. And I'll see you in my stream.